Hey guys. Morning. Welcome back to EIS Alaska. Yeah, so we're just getting down here to the boat. We're gonna go uh, lift off our reel here at the cannery. Kind of uh, start prepping some different things on the boat here. Get ready for jigging. So we just got fired up and uh, just letting the boat warm up for a minute and we'll head on over to the plant. Yep. All right, off we go. Yeah, it's been a pretty stormy January so far. Just come off of a, a gale warning a couple of days ago and just been kind of windy the last couple of days. And tomorrow it's supposed to get windy again. So just been kind of biding our time, doing some town work, some little projects.
drop the stuff off. Pull the over the dock. No, no, um, we'll just get it um, at the dock over there. <laughs> All right. Got blank deck view. So this is our very messy hydraulic corner. We just had a little incident. Uh, that swivel fitting right there, that swivel fitting you see there just broke. So start shooting hydraulic oil into this pit. Luckily it's contained. Yeah. We're lucky we didn't have any uh, long line out or anything like that. That would have been a lot of goofing around. Probably a pretty easy fix, just loop a line, but yep. inconvenient anyways. Yep. And uh, it didn't spill much because Matt was right here when it happened and I just shut off the hydros. So, so we got lucky there. And, yeah. Uh, so that will be a project you could probably look forward to. Uh, we probably won't look forward to it because hydraulics are a pain, but. <laughs> Originally that flow valve that controls this pump was supposed to be down in the engine room and that's where the pump was supposed to be too but we didn't have a good uh, sea chest hooked up then so it just made more sense to put this out here with uh, with the suction line that we could throw in the ocean to get water or stuff it in our fish hold to pump it out yeah, meanwhile we're just getting a little shot of water we need to do a little bit of work on our engine cooling system we need to to flush our engine out a bit. There's no water in our stalls now because it's winter time and they shut it off. So this is fresh water from the city water dock. We're just gonna 
flood this fish hold and then we'll have plenty of water if we need it. Yep. We do the work that we need to get done. Yeah. Little things. Yeah. Just little uh, little projects. Yep. Good to get them done. Spin around here. Yeah, so these guys are trawlers. You can see their doors on the back and their big net reel. These are the guys that that drag for well everything, cod, pollock, rockfish. They bring bring in big amounts of fish at once. That's a uh, volume, that's the volume-based fisher you hear about. Yep. Handling your fish individually, none of it happens on there. No blood fish. No blood fish, of, but, but it's just uh, you know the uh, consequences of volume. You know, it's just too much volume to to do that. So, yep. Anyways, still an important part of our industry here in Kodiak, and really the only way you can harvest massive amounts of of some ground fish, pollock and some of the other stuff they target. Yeah. There's just no way that you could do it with hook and line, long line gear or jig gear feasibly, but it, it just wouldn't be practical. So yeah, important part of our industry here in Kodiak and you guys bring a lot of fish in, so. Yeah, keeps people working. Alright guys, so we got our control throttle and the uh, jug stick back here. We're just gonna go ahead and take that off. We don't need it for jigging, so no reason to get on. Did you flip off your breakers? Do you need to? Yep, they're off. Dead wired in these quick disconnects here. Pretty nice. Yeah, some nice plugs. Nice uh, gasket in there. Nice and easy to take this unit off and put it away. Don't have to worry about it getting beat up back here or even worse, maybe stolen. Pretty expensive uh, setup right here. I think this jog stick was about 700 bucks. Another 300 or so for the Micro Commander. The throttle and shift. Uh huh. Oh, rain. Rain all of a sudden? Okay. <laughs> Sit up. Yeah, those were nice to get. It was a bit of work to make this and solder all the control wires into these plugs and everything, but it was definitely worth the effort. Uh, before we just kind of had a little power strip that we'd hook up every time and it was a lot of fiddling about. And now we can just pull these off and these wires actually run through a little hole in the bulkhead up there and we'll coil these up and leave them in the engine room where they're out of the weather, out of the way. Don't have to worry about them getting snagged or destroyed. Ah, 
Yeah, we're over this way. Forgot where we were parked. Alright guys, so done down here for now. Gonna go get some hydraulic parts from home and kinda figure out what we need to do there. Yeah, do some planning and kinda that's always a fun part. Yeah. Gather up some parts. Yep, so a lot of plumbing to monkey around with so we'll see. Still Good. trying to figure out what will work best for that flow. Whoop. For that flow valve too, because it's actually really nice to have it outside. Yeah, that's <clears> true. So I don't know what we're gonna do there. Yep. So uh, we'll bring you back later, I guess. But if not, thanks for watching. See you next time.